Hello everyone, this is Dowel20 and welcome to episode 48 of Dowel20's Let's Play series where between episodes I did a whole bunch of crafting in preparation for today. Uh, so let's take a look at where we're at. So today I want to progress a little bit deeper into this area. I wanted to start looking at applied energistics, but then I realized I really don't want to do applied energistics yet, even though I can. And let me explain to you why. Uh, so applied energistics... Uh, we should be able to get pretty much everything we need to get started with it. So we can make the crystallizer to get certus quartz, to get inscribers and all this stuff. So this is all doable at my current stage, right? The one thing I can't do just yet though, uh, if we look at AE2, is we can't get crafters. Uh, any auto crafting that I wanna do is gonna require a crafting unit, right? Remember like the crafting storage so you can craft things? So check this out, requires Ostrom processors. So I was starting to look at it and I'm like, oh, I need Ostrom, which I'm pretty sure is on Mars, okay? If I'm not mistaken. Uh, Cause yeah, Ostrom space plating is the next thing we would have to get after we go to Mars. So we could get an applied energistic system right now, but it would only act as storage and not be able to auto craft. I already have a mass storage system, it's called occultism and it works cross dimensionally and it doesn't cost RF to keep up and running. So, I think we're going to stick with occultism mass storage for a little bit, and then we should be doing AE2 after we get to Mars. Does that sound like a plan? So that said, uh, let's get back to progressing. So a few things I did between episodes. Um, I made a mechanical squeezer here. Um, so that I could get a lot of basic control circuits. So we needed a lot of mineral resin. You guys saw me craft these all before. I didn't want you to have to watch me do it all again. So between episodes, just made a bunch of them. Uh, the mechanical squeeze are obviously not a big deal. We actually already have one down in our basement doing sugar. So, you know, all good. Um, I cleaned up some wiring, trying to just like improve some things, made a few more mechanism um, metallurgic infusers. Um, mostly just, you know, some diamond, some redstone and some coal just in case I want to get that going. Uh, started cooking up some more liquid force in preparation for when we might need that. Um, babysat my coal a little bit. Um, pretty sure that I'm going to want to do this because I think diesel burns better. Uh, yeah, it is. Than biodiesel. And that'll keep this thing cooking for a while longer. So basically just like a bunch of manual crafting. Um, also between episodes, I, I made um, the chemical oxidizer that we're going to need to complete the quest, but I didn't I'm not going to use it. What I decide instead that I want to do is get my brine via thermal evaporation. So let's take a look at these guys. So thermal evaporation controller just needs those circuit backplanes, which are a component, like they're super easy to make. Some thermal evaporation blocks are just compressed iron plates, dielectric paste, and copper plates. All things we already have. Cool. Um, and then the valves are also super easy to make, circuit backplanes. So let's go set this up, shall we? Because um, I want to start getting it. Uh, and get ready to roll. So what we're gonna do here uh, is the following. So I prepped this all ahead of time. So we're gonna want our aqueous accumulator to go here, yeah, nope, not there. There. And then we're going to want, what will effectively be, one, two, three, four. Do I want it this close? Might be a little close to my farm. I'll push it back one. And then let me just show you real quick how to make these advanced generators. So note, does not produce FE for thermal energy only. Uh, and there's even a quest around these that I want to point out to you guys, just so you can see that it calls that out in the quest too. Uh, what I found out is it used to be the case that you need to do this in orbit. Um, so that's no longer the case though. You don't have to do it in orbit anymore. So now you can still um, do this, not on your space station, but in the overworld. So just note there is no RF generation. From these dudes, which would be nice. They are a little not too, too hard to make. The solar cells are just um, upgrade matrices and amethyst shards. So, you know, super easy to get, uh, which is why I'm very bummed that they don't actually produce any power, because that would have been cool. And I don't think we need to hear that noise. Thank you. 
And then you're gonna... Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna move you back one. So let's put you here, Aquius. Wrong tool, I know. Okay, and then mechanism pipes. Gonna go bing, bang, boom. And then you, I'm actually just gonna move you down one. I always like you to be right there. Now remember they are solar, right? Solar-based evaporation. So if it's nighttime, this ain't gonna work too good. Sweet, Brian. Okay. So now, cook him up Brian. Easy peasy. We'll get a lot of it. Now, as a reminder, right, uh, alternatively, I could have gotten salt turned into 15 millibuckets of gaseous brine, and then 15 millibuckets of gaseous brine condensed into 15 millibuckets of brine. Ooh, oh, look, I already have 8,000 millibuckets of brine from water. Anybody have any questions on why I did this way rather than the ox? Yes, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 100,000% better to go this route. So definitely do it the thermal evaporation way is my recommendation to you. Um, how did I leave off with this stuff? Am I good over here? Yep, more of you, yay. Cool. All right, so everybody's good. Now let's talk about uh, electrolytic separators. So for you, I'm going to need this, which means more infused alloy, which is the reason I was making all that signalum. Let's get like 16 of them hammered up. And let's look at what dust we need. So aluminum, gold, two aluminum, iron, and gold. Two aluminum. Iron, gold, bauxite. Let's just do it this way, right? Pretty sure he'll like take turns dropping. Perfect. So then we can get you. Combined with Buddy Redstone. Okay. And that'll be your electrolytic separator, which is where I'm going to get. I think we turn chlorine, or, or we turn um, the brine into chlorine, I think is what my goal is here. And that's what's going to lead to getting all kinds of cool stuff, specifically printed silicon. Because printed silicon needs polyethylene and chlorine in a pressurized reaction chamber okay so we're gonna have to make a prc and then we get our silicon and turn it into printed silicon deal sounds cool to me so electrolytic separator should be good now and now we want the pressurized reaction chamber um now just is there a gas burning generator no i didn't think so that would be way too op yeah i didn't think so so electrolytic separator, done. Pressurized reaction chamber on the to-do. Oxidizer's done. So you need what? You need another enrichment chamber, which is pretty doable. We're going to need more redstone, glass. Yay, Tick Accelerate! Yay! Doesn't quite keep up with the power demands, but that's okay. <laughs> Not a big deal. Alright, so now we can get... Uh, pressurized Reaction Chamber needs you. And then you need whatever this is. Reactive Quantum Bedrock. 
Okay. Uh, doesn't look too bad, right? Looks very craftable. What exactly is this? By default, this can be mined as normal. If it ever has a redstone signal given to it, then it becomes unbreakable by the block state. Unlike the other unbreakable block, this one uses a tile entity. Okay. Good to know. And then you need aluminum plates. Let's get like half a stack of you guys. Cool, cool. And now you should be good to go. The pressurized reaction chamber. Boom. Quest complete. Pressurized reaction chamber. Now then, um, what we're going to want with our pressurized reaction chamber is... I haven't decided entirely how much of this shenanigans I need to do, but let's math it out real quick. So when I want to make printed silicon, it's 10 millibuckets of chlorine and 50 millibuckets of polyethylene, right? So if I wanted to make 100 of these so that we could do a bucket at a time, it would be, um, right? So it would be 100 silicon, a bucket of chlorine, and five buckets of chlor polyethylene, right? That's probably the way we're going to want to do it. Um, and remind me how we get silicon again. I have one, so it can't be that hard. Just smelting sort of squirts dust. So any other tricks? Ooh, material stonework factory. That might be a thing. Uh, sort of squirts, sort of squirts, sort of squirts. So is material stonework factory like actually a thing in this pack? It feels pretty thingy. Doesn't it feel like very thingy? Feels like it's very much a thing. Pink slime is 300 millibuckets. What kind of number is that? Excuse me, need to borrow you. Okay, now can I... I can, and then I can do that, and that works. Okay, so that should be infinite silicon now, right? And what are you doing over there? You don't belong over there, you belong over there. Okay, uh, so you're getting me infinite cobble, right? Uh, so now I should be able to make my material stonework factory. And granted, I believe that requires power, but that's okay. We'll figure out power in a moment. If I did you, 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 and nothing, okay? Um... Let's get our post. Okay, and then our MV. You, you, and you. Now, the only trick is I want to insert to the top, but we'll figure that. Because what I'm going to want is a logistical transporter set up to do that okay and then we're gonna have you for power and then my only real problem I guess how am I for add-ons processing and speed well that's pretty nice oh I like that that's nice that's nice Look at that go, huh? Now my only real desire, I guess, would be to auto-eject that into something adjacent, which would be cool, but all adjacency sides are consumed at the moment. Unless I moved him forward a block. I can move him forward a block. Yep. Or what I could just do is like come by every now and then when I need silicon and be like, silicon, please. That also works, right? That also works. Out of curiosity, weapons will throw efficiency in there, too. Do I have any efficiencies laying around? Not easily. Probably make one. I think efficiency is pretty easy to make. That would be the blaze rods? Yeah, and two diamond gears. Diamonds are still a little pricey for me, but not terrible. Guess I'm not to get press. Nope.
So you, you, blaze, redstone, glass pane. Is it two glass panes? Yep. Yoink. Just to see if it's worth it. I feel like it probably won't matter too much, but is that even doing anything? Forget what efficiency add-ons do. Uh, decreases the amount of ticks needed to complete an operation. Oh, so it just makes it run faster. So it is doing something, right? That so like right now it's sixty ticks, and with this it's forty-eight ticks. What this does is make it do twice as many operations. Hey, stop inserting there, Chief. You shouldn't be inserting cobblestone. Yeah, we're going to have to, like, be cooler about this pretty soon, I feel like. Yeah, you're definitely not supposed to be inserting. You know what I can do? I can make it so that this disabled on the top. This disabled on the top, this disabled on the top, this disabled on the top. Ha ha ha. Okay, and then you can go back in there, and that should be cool. Deal? That works. That 100% works. That's how I want to play that. Okay, so now we've got silicon for days, which is awesome. Uh, and then we can use that silicon combined with our chlorine and whatnot. So what we want to do is over here, we're going to want some form of power happening. Um, or I could just bring my electrolytic separator and like a bucket of brine. So let's just check for chlorine. So I want to make you, so that needs chlorine. So electrolytic separator, 10 brine turns into, oh, okay. Uh, so we're going to want, so if I want, if I want a bucket of chlorine, I'm going to want 10 buckets of brine. Yes. I believe that to be accurate. Okay. Okay. Um, now that brine's probably going to be used for other stuff at some point in the future. Like we're going to want lithium. We're going to want another one of those towers. Yada, 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 yada. So we are not going to set this up over there. Uh, we'll set this power line up over here somewhere. Man, do we have sprawl or do we have sprawl? Like, holy cow, am I a mess. Dire, please, with how big of a mess I've made. Uh, where might it make sense to even put this? So this was going to be like my mechanism production line, but yeah. I can put it like here. Does that sound cool? Seems relatively cool. So if I did this, can I not just like give you fluid? That works, right? Uh, but you need power. Which I think makes sense to bring from underneath. Uh, shovel. Because you're going to do the chlorine, and then we're going to want to PRC it. So you're going to make the chlorine, and then we're going to dump the chlorine. And what else do you make from the brine? Um, you also make sodium. I wonder if there's anything good I can do with that. Not really. So we're probably just going to want to avoid that. Is that a fluid or a gas? Which we'll find out. I mean, chlorine's a gas. Sodium. I don't know. Is it gaseous or is it? I don't know. I have no idea. Sodium turns into liquid sodium. So it is a gas. So I can put it in a gas tank and void it. I like that plan. Right? So sodium will go here in a gas tank. Okay. Uh, you, one of these dudes. Okay. Um, now I think this is a two person operation. So we'll do that. And then we can PRC the chlorine. Is that crazy? Where'd my pressurized reaction chamber go? Did I put it in here? Wait, wait, wait. 
chemical oxidizer. Where did my pressurized reaction chamber go? I had one, right? Yes. One sec, I have to find this thing. Oh, that's right, I put it over here, didn't I? <laughs> Dire. Dire, please. Right? Now, I might need this pressurized reaction chamber for other things in the future. We'll find out. And when and if we do, we'll either make another one or not. I haven't quite figured out how this is all going to work yet. It's all a new... It's all a new resource chain. So like, while I'm figuring it out, I gotta st start with certain things and decide like, yeah, no, that worked or no, I need, I need, I don't need as much of that as I thought I did or I have too, like, you know, there's things. Okay, so I said I need 10 buckets of brine, right? So one, two, so you're gonna sit on top here and you're gonna be set to dump into the thing underneath. Cool, so we'll start with that. And then for you guys to get power over here, I bet that, I bet that'll reach, right? Yeah, uh, I can do this. Hang on, nobody panic. You. <laughs> Hear it? It's working. Okay. Now you do that, and you're making sodium, which is going in here, and you're making chlorine, which is going in here. Awesome. And as everybody knows, we immediately mute the electrolytic separator, because that is one of the worst noises. All right. Cool. Wow, you very quickly made your 400 millibuckets of chlorine. Sweet. That was not slow at all. So that would be six... Eight, ten. Cool. And then we'll get a bucket of chlorine. Sweet. And now we need five buckets of polyethylene to make our silicon. Uh, and that is, remember, uh, latex plus liquid ethylene, liquid ethylene, uh, which we can get from flux infused oil, but not quite yet. And then uh, sulfur dust. Oh, there's an advanced mixer now. 250 millibuckets and sulfur dust equals 250 millibuckets. 250 millibuckets and sulfur dust equals 250 millibuckets. All right. I mean, this doesn't need a multi-block. Doesn't need heat. Doesn't need pressure. Kind of cool. How do you make you? Ostrom. Nope. Never mind. Doing it the old-fashioned way. Sulfur dust. Okay. So you're going to be... So we've got liquid ethylene which is cool. Um, so we actually don't need to make any more of that. So what we wanted was five millibuckets, right? Or five buckets. Uh, so just a reminder, 250, 250 equals 500. So if we want five buckets, we need two and a half buckets of you, liquid ethylene. So let's just do five and five, and then we'll have an extra five. I'm cool with that. One, two, three, four... Five, one, two, three, four, five, and then a tank sitting next to him, making polyethylene. You also don't want to accept fluids, do you? Is that like a place? Like, can I do like something like this or whatever? Okay. We're out of tanks again. Always out of tanks. Always out of tanks. And then you get silicon. And that should be cool. What is this all about? Not enough energy to operate. Do what now? You have no indication that you need lots of energy. Uh, so what I could do... So you can borrow my efficiency upgrades from you. If I have to get more, I have to get more. Hey, now we're cooking. That's getting us printed silicon. It's not great, but it's working. Sweet. All right. And then we're going to want one... Two, one, two, 
and that should give me a hundred printed silicon, right? I wouldn't mind some more um, mechanism upgrades. Uh, energy upgrades cost what that? All right, so that's not terrible. It does use a lot of infused alloys though. How about speeds also do infused alloys? So nothing here is expensive except for the infused alloys because they're signalum still. Um, so I don't think we're in a huge rush, right? All right, so now that we've got you printed silicon, which is a quest complete by the way, um, and then I completed some other quest somewhere. Mechanisms, PRC, hooray. Sweet. Okay, so now that we're in super good shape, uh, I can make dash processors so that I can make logic chips. Woohoo, that's cool. Uh, and then I can also get advanced circuits with Signalum processors. Um, so yeah, and that's how we progress, right? And then we can eventually get elite dudes. Needs a little bit of ether gas. Looks like we got some uh, ether gas coming into our future. That means creating a wither. Ether gas equals wither, remember. That's gonna be a thing. We're gonna need some ether gas soon. That's cool. Looks like we're spawning a wither in the next few episodes. Yes, it does. Yes, it very much does. Okay, uh, so printed silicon, we can use that to make um, uh, printed engineering circuits, right? Which which go towards a lot of AE2 stuff, I assume. Yeah. Um, yep, and yep. Okay, cool. So that's gonna be needed for that blue dude. Okay. We're also going to be able to get source circuits. ME source cell housing. Okie dokie then. Osmium circuits, uh, which can go to ME chemical cell housing. Cool. Uh, melodium. I have no idea what melodium is. Never heard of that resource before, out of curiosity. Actually doesn't make anything, so that's cool. That's fine. Uh, mana steel circuits goes towards making mana cell housings. Uh, printed gold circuits goes towards a lot of AE2 stuff. Ostrom, we know we don't have access to. Prismaline, that actually doesn't go towards anything either. So that's cool. Dash processors gets me my laser IO. Uh, and then you go towards more AE2 stuff. So this will get me a lot of AE2 stuff, but also more importantly, laser IO, which I'm super excited about. So I'm on board. Uh, we can also get Signalum processors this way. Okay, cool, is that is that like the way to get Signalum? It is. And then bees convert crystalline bees into silicon bees. Okay. Uh, so I think what we wanna get, if I'm not mistaken, I wanna, I want this, I want this. That's what I want. So dash processors is gonna be a dash plate, oh goody, uh, conductive soldering alloy and printed silicon. Okay, so this is easy. Two redstone, six ten, and a copper. Look at you being risky with the bronze recipe. Six ten and a copper and two redstone. Bing. Not terrible, right? Um, and then that plus a dash plate equals a dash processor, and that'll get me eight of those. So not inexpensive. You know what I'm probably going to do here between episodes is go get more dash. That's probably what I'm going to do. I bet you need to be... Cool. Cool. Okay, and then to get you, we need the inscriber, right? Or an advanced inscriber, but that needs Ostrom, so we're not gonna get there yet. But regular inscriber, totally doable. Certus Quartz Crystal, though, requiring a crystallizer. So we're gonna want a crystallizer after all. And that's gonna require two Invar plate and two Electrum gears. Yeah, but now two Invar. Cool. Bing, bang, boom. And since I'm here, it's probably just a little bit faster than running over to our stamper dude. If my drop in the world wants to work any better than it usually does. Cool. So crystallizer is going to be needed at some point anyway. Might as well whip one up. 
And then uh, you can go here. You can go here. There. You're going to get some power? Yes. Cool. And then to make crystals, we just throw Certus Quartz dust in there, right? So you get to work. Possibly. Do you need uh, water? You need water. Okay, maybe I should put you instead. Because you need water, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you right here. Um, maybe I'll put you here just to be a little extra safer. Yeah, I like that plan. And then this should work because, in theory... Hello, bat. And then you should be cool to be crystallizery, and then you should be that, and then you should accept water on the left. Now we're cooking. And we still have these hardened dudes from bees and other rewards and stuff, so... Boy, oh boy, does he take a long time or what? What is the crystallizing time on this dude? Any indication? 25,000 RF. Super fast. Super fast. Let's prep the inscriber. So four steel, a copper, and two sticky pistons. Do we have any pistons? Not really. All right. So we'll get one, two. Steel. Copper. So that was top and bottom, and then the four steel, and then the copper, and then, whoo, that's taking a while. And then do you need like AE2 power or what? Uh, I didn't mean to do those things. I wonder if he needs AE2 power. Uh, acceptor. Let's just see what an energized acceptor is going to look like. Uh, doesn't look terrible. I'm going to make one because I suspect I may need one. And that's just going to be quartz and glass. To do, smelt up more glass, right? And it's one to one on it? It is. Okay. I do have a tick accelerator, I know. I'm trying to be conservative with it because I've had it for such a short period of time, we don't have a lot of time saved up in it. So just in case I need an energy acceptor, they're cheap enough that if I don't need one, I don't care. Come on, we're almost there. Woo, we're so close. Hooray. Sweet. Okay. Guess I can extend you out, right? So can you just take power natively? I forget if you need an energy acceptor or not. Well, we're going to find out, right? So... Hey, no, that works. Cool. No need for an energy acceptor. At least not yet. Sweet. Doubly sweet. And then you guys can do that for me, right? And that'll get me 16 raw logic chips. Uh, and that'll get me into laser AL, which I'm on board with. So now what do you need to get? Dash processor, laser node, pipe dreams. Okay. So I need a laser node before I can get a logic chip? I disagree! That's not how that works, FTB. I know this because it's my mod. You can uh, you can be bulk blasted, right? Just making sure. Oh, looks like somebody left smooth stone on the cooker for too long. That somebody was me. Cool. And then what I'd want to do is this and that. 
That is not a bad recipe, folks. That ain't terrible. So extra logic chips, extra laser nodes, a free laser wrench. Sweet. All these guys aren't terrible recipes. We have access to laser IO now. Which, you know, Dyer's a fan of. I'm a little bit of a fan of this mod. I don't know. Whoever made it did a pretty nice job. Just saying. Cool. All right. And then that also is me completing this. And also me completing this is done. Sweet. All right. So let's wrap up here. Uh, we'll come back next time. And we'll put some more of this stuff to use. I'm going to go get more dash between episodes. Uh, so I'm going to put that on my to-do list. Um, for now, though, it's my sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.